Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about how I prepare for my performances. For those who don't know me, my name is Jocelyn. I'm a singer-songwriter from Omaha, Nebraska. I'm signed to BMG Records. I've been on three television network shows and I am also partnered with the Boys Town National Hotline. For more information about the Boys Town National Hotline and how to get helpful resources, please visit boystown.org. Wanted to mention that I am not sponsored by any of these products in this video. All right, let's get into it. When preparing for my performances, there are five steps that I like to follow leading up to my performance. The very first thing I do, step one, is a cleanse. The cleanse consists of staying away from dairy, chocolate, caffeine, alcohol, and smoking. Please do not smoke. If you are a singer and you want to have a long lasting singing career, just don't do it. You will hurt your voice in the long run. My choir teacher in high school was very adamant about us not smoking and I did not listen to her. Um, and that definitely contributed to me forming a cyst on my vocal cord. So I quit smoking right after I found out about that. Um, not happy about that. I'm also making sure that I'm staying hydrated and I'm resting my voice when needed. It's very important that you also get really good sleep. Singing while you're running on only three hours of sleep is probably not a good idea. Once my voice is feeling cleansed, I'm staying hydrated and my voice has gotten the rest that it needs, it is finally time for step two, warming up the body. When I am warming up my body, I'm doing stretches. I am using my personal Pyramus handheld steamer to really moisturize my vocal cords. I'm also using my Theragun. I'll actually show it to you, I got it right here. This thing is really amazing. The first thing I do is I use it on my shoulders because my shoulders are always so tense. And then I eventually like to gently get my neck, get the blood flowing, get underneath my chin to get my tongue. Ah. And then I get my face, get all that con congestion out of there. And I also like to do breathing exercises. It's so important that you do breathing exercises because your breath is going to be what drives your voice and makes it sound so beautiful. After I'm done warming up my body, oh, there's one other thing I wanted to mention and that is making sure that you're fueling your body with the right nutrients so you have the energy to perform. <laughs> all of these things are so important. Okay, once I am feeling energized, my body's all warmed up and ready to go, it is time for step three, vocal warm-ups. Now the vocal warm-ups that I do, I'm not gonna show you today, but they're vocal warm-ups that I have gotten from my vocal therapist and my vocal coach. It's very important that you have both because they can both offer you different information that could be very helpful for your career. My vocal warm-ups can last anywhere from 15 minutes all the way up to an hour. Um, sometimes I like to combine them, sometimes I like to separate them uh, by doing a 15 minute gentle warm-up in the morning and then in the evening do an hour warm-up uh, that's really strong and that gets my voice going. After my warm-ups, it is finally time for step four. I am ready to make my set list and practice it. I cannot stress enough how important it is to practice. Practicing is key. We are talking about practice. When I'm making my set list, I like to write down all of the songs that I know on a sheet of paper. And then I think of the time slot that I have to perform. And then I go ahead and I start to imagine the event and the performance and the vibe that I wanna give off. I then start to pick all of the songs that will match that event and that will help me stand out from the rest. When I have my set list, it is time to go through it. When I go through it, I make notes of where I've messed up. I then go back and I just work on those little sections of where I messed up. And then I go through it all over again. And I do that about three times. Doing it three times for me helps me feel confident and helps me to get ready to perform. The last step when I'm performing, this is a reminder to have fun. Music is a journey and you're just along for the ride. You're there to give the audience a good time and you're there to have a good time. Don't be too hard on yourself and you have fun. And those are my five steps. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it to be helpful, hit that thumbs up and also hit that subscribe and notifications button for more videos and content. As always, stay kind.